CM365 all about Carnatic music. It is seen from history that all the dharma rajyas which had or rather enjoyed good administration there we see that rains prevailed in plenty and uh, rajya itself flourished in full measure and uh, this kind of uh, rajya is also known as rama rajya and uh, in the compositions of tyagaraja that is in that uh, karu baru and mukhari we see how he describes the rama rajya the glory of it and the way rama ruled the rajya so that it became so prosperous and here he makes a mention in the charanam about how because of this prosperity and because of the good administration there was also rain occurring thrice a month so this also here indicates that uh, this uh, rain is a sign of prosperity and uh, in our own indian uh, hindu culture we see that there are different ways of uh, praying to the rain god that is through prayer according to rites prescribed in the shastras then we also have through chanting the vedic mantras we have seen that uh, sometimes I mean, in our own times we have seen that when there is absolutely no rain and the whole place is you know kind of dry at that time we have the vedic uh, pandits uh, they uh, chant the mantras continuously and uh, through this uh, vibration we also get rain and uh, in uh, if you looking back in history we see that in the tevaram we have a ragam called megha raga kuranji and this is a pun in uh, which is uh, supposed to bring rain and uh, the oduvars actually go to the adjoining field and uh, sing the particular hymn of the tevaram the prayer is addressed to the seven megas or the clouds and uh, for three days actually this uh, singing of mega raga kurunji is done and it is believed that after that the, on the fourth day the rain will come here again we also see that before uh, singing this uh, mega raga kurunji a proper methodical way of performing abhishegam and other things to the local deity is done and after all the formality is finished then this ragam is sung and uh, with the power of the oduvars singing it is uh, believed that rain will come history also records about how muthuswami dikshadar was instrumental in bringing rain through his uh, beautiful monumental composition anandamrita krishni amrita varshini here Uh, he was actually passing and going to etepuram and while passing through the roads he saw that all the land there was parched and there was absolutely no uh, uh, trace of water at all and seeing the plight of the people here that uh, they were suffering uh, because of the lack of water what he did was he looked at looked at the sky and prayed to devi to bring rain and alleviate the plight of all the uh, drought stricken kind of drought hit people and uh, he actually sings here the song ananda amrita kashini amrita vashini haradi pujite shive bhavani ananda amrita kashini and the samashti charanam ಶ್ರೀನಂದನಾದಿ ಸಂರಕ್ಷಿಣಿ ಶ್ರೀ ಗುರು ಗುಗ ಜನನಿ ಚಿತ್ರೂಪಿಣಿ ಸಾನಂದ ಹೃದಯ ನಿಲಯ ಸದಯ ಸತ್ಯ ಸುವೃಷ್ಟಿ ಹೇತವೇ ತ್ವಂ ಸಂತತ ಚಿಂತೆಯ ಅಮೃತೇಶ್ವರಿ ಸಲೀಲ ವಶಯ 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 so when he sang thrice vashaya 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 it is said that the clouds gathered and there was very heavy rain and it rained so profusely that the whole place got flooded and uh, history also records that to stop the flood here to use the word uh, sthambaya thrice instead of vashaya 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 here to use the words sthambaya 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 and sing again and uh, after that the floods receded and the rain stopped and uh, here we also see that uh, coming to this particular ragam now uh, this is the story behind the composition of this amrita varshini uh, raga composition ananda amrita karshini amrita varshini the ragam itself it's uh, janya of the 65th or the 66th mela chitrambari it can come under any of this 
and the arona arona of this uh, ragam goes like sa ga ma pa ni sa sa ni pa ma ga sa where we see that the ga and the ni uh, are rendered with a uh, straight car voice on it without any kind of gamakam like sa ga ma pa ni sa ni pa ma ga ma ga ga ma pa ni pa ma ga ma ga sa sa ga ma ga sa sa ga ma pa ma ga ma ga sa ga ma pa ni pa ni sa ga sa ga ni sa pa ni ma pa ga ma pa ni sa ni pa ma ga ma ga sa ni ni ga sa Apart from this uh, song Ananda Amrita Karshini, Tagaraja is also composed from composition Amrita Varshini, which goes like Sarasi Rughe Nayane Sarasi Jasane Saradindu Nibavadane Amba Sarasi Rughe Nayane Sarasi Jasane Saradindu Nibavadane Amba Sarasi so this ragam is also one among the audava ragams and uh, among the pratimadima audava ragams there are actually comparatively few compared to the shuddhamadima ragas so among the pratimadima audava ragas amrita vashni happens to be one of the important ragas cm 365 all about carnatic music